Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about one-sided limits and how to find them just by looking at the graph. So when you talk about one-sided limits, you can have either a left-hand limit or a right-hand limit. And a left-hand limit means you look at what's happening around your uh, specified value of x, but only as you come in from the left. And a right-hand limit is the same thing, but only coming in from the right. So let's take a look at this example here. Uh, we have a function y equals f of x, and let's do one-sided limits at x equals 5. So uh, first of all, the notation for that is going to be LIM, as usual, for limit, and then underneath that, x approaches 5. Now what's different is we have a minus sign in the superscript here, okay? And the minus sign indicates that we're coming in from the negative direction, uh, which is the left side, uh, and then f of x equals, okay? So the way we figure this out is we look at the graph, we cover up the right part, okay? Uh, everything to the right of the 5 does not matter at all we're doing the left-hand limit as x goes to 5, so all that matters is what's happening as we come into 5 from the left. So as x goes to 5 from the left, what's happening to the y values? Well, follow along this curve here, following along, following along, and it looks like the y values are going to go to 1, right? So the answer to this would just be 1. So that's pretty much a left-hand limit. Uh, just like a limit, it tells you how a function behaves near a certain point, but for the left-hand limit, all you care about is what's happening on the left side and whatever's happening on the right is completely irrelevant. Now for the right-hand limit, it's pretty much what you'd expect. Um, it's the exact same thing, except now we're just focused on what's happening on the right side, and we don't care about the left. So the notation for that is LIM for limit, and then underneath that, x approaches 5, and now we have a plus sign in the superscript on the 5. Okay. So the plus sign indicates the positive direction, which means from the right. So plus sign here, positive direction. We're coming in from the positive direction, which means we're coming in from the right. Okay. So then uh, f of x equals. All right. So now we cover up what's happening on the left because we don't care about it at all. And now we're just going to come into uh, x equals 5 from the right. So as we do that, we're following along this curve here. Where are the y values going? It looks like they're going to hit 3. Okay, as x comes into 5 from the right, the y values are getting closer and closer to 3. So this limit then is 3. Now notice that when x equals 5, y is actually 1 and not 3. But remember, for limits, that doesn't matter. Okay? So the limit as x approaches 5 from the left of f of x is 1. And the limit as x approaches 5 from the right of f of x is 3.